Hello, and welcome to part three of Gone Home on the PS4. K is for kind, A is for amazing, I is for intelligent, T is for talented, L is for lighthearted, I is for important, N is for nice. What about my name, Cole? Oh man, one of my old sex ed assignments. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna read that at first, but then I changed my mind. Blech. Oh, another. So stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was, like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just... never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. Hmm. Bless me. I hope their band is a real band because I freaking love it. It's like a drug. The first time was in my room in the middle of the night. I woke up and Lonnie was kissing. I didn't get to... No. Wow, I didn't even... Fuck you. I'm so happy, dear Sam, I'm so happy you liked the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell you'd love Mexico. I think probably the nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on the mystery island where even the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together out there in the wilderness together. And I start thinking of you again. I lie here in bed, and I can almost feel you. <laughs> I've been trying to save up for when we're together again. I haven't done a good job. Okay, but I tried. Okay, enough about that. Your last letter got to me. The days before we started driving back north, we'll be racing this letter home. If I get home first, we could read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time together in the dark room. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now, and I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. Okay then.
Bum 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 da da da. Fuck yeah. It's like it's like Metallica and something else mixed together. Actually, suicidal tendencies and circle jerk mixed together. Get it? That had to do with the safe combo. Would you like fries with that? Order this month. Two cases of brandy, two cases of rum, one barrel of whiskey. Governor remains very pleased with the enforcement in Boone County. Believe this arrangement shall hold for some time. W.R. March 23rd. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hi, Sam. I'm writing to you from. Maltanoma Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March, and I don't know if anyone running this school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in a gift shop. Oh shit, here you come. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. Kids at school, though? I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Whoa! Well, oh, I thought that was somebody standing at the edge of the stairs. It was just that. Freaking, so I did a full Outlast 1 and 2 walkthrough and whistleblower. I think, yeah, I did a full whistleblower walkthrough. What am I talking about? The Psycho House Girl. The coolest stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing, everybody in the hall thinking you don't... Damn it. What would happen to the subtitles? Is everybody in the hall thinking you don't know... They're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of the principal. Well, whatever. Costume. I can't read fucking handwriting. Fuck. Woman Outlaws. This. This show Yahoo runs things about this joint. She's tougher than a wild Mustang. No female is going to tell me. Yarr. Okie dokie then. Girl justice. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation, following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. 
Like, she's going to join the army and then have to... lie? About who she is? She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like, it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Where are we now? Guardians, uh, guardian angels up above, bless this house with lots of love. Oh, there we are. Espanol. Katie, you know how mom and dad are. Not exactly super open-minded about things. It feels like every minute I don't spend with Lonnie, I spend worrying about them finding out about us. And what would happen if they did? You know dad's joke about the nunnery that he'd tell whenever he brought boys around the old house? I wonder where he'd want to send me. Hmm. Thursday, 25, Inside Edition Documentary. Investigative team visits camp. Whose specialists help adolescents overcome deviant behavior and homosexuality? There's nothing wrong with being gay or a lesbian. Like, I have freaking uh, friends who are like that. Same goes about race, like I don't understand. Like... I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never gonna need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and Dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Don't give up on this, honey. At least he has a support, um, that the father has a supporting wife. There's not a, there's not a whole lot of couples that are supportive most, uh, sometimes.
Oops. No, 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 no. I asked Bonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be... gone. Just gone. You're probably wondering what I'm doing right now, and I'll, I'll tell you guys in a second. We're gonna play a little game of basketball. We're playing basketball. Sham, crown the bugger. Crown. Ask me about clown combos. Oh, I get it. Crown sounds like clown. Okay. 5 a.m. Your mother and I will be away for a long weekend, celebrating our anniversary, June 3-7th, uh, which is probably March 7th. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on our way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still uh, mid-renovation. Never trust a contractor, am I right? $40 is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good, Dad. What if... Dad, what if, I, what if I want wings? You don't need wings, Dale. That's not enough, Dad. Stepbrothers quote. By the way, they're making a Stepbrothers too, and what I like about it is uh, at the front cover of the, the poster, you see two of them jumping off a diving board and going in the pool, and then in, in um, red letters at the bottom, it says they're back to fuck shit up. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, guys, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys liked it. Feel free to like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters. <laughs> Stay classy. Bye-bye.